So 8pm last night we had 1,542 cases of community transmission and as the modelling we released indicated we are expecting the peak number of cases to happen in the next week or so and so far this trajectory is what has been predicted and uh, regrettably we did have nine deaths to 8pm yesterday and we extend our deepest condolences to the loved ones of those families and Dr Gow will go through the details. Uh, in addition, uh, as you know from Monday, because we got to that 6 million jabs by the end of August, we promised there'd be additional freedoms. Just a reminder that they kick in uh, on Monday. Uh, also, um, from, from next week, uh, I don't know how this will be received, but the 11am information will be done uh, by health staff through video link, as occurred before, and Minister Hazard or I will intermittently hold press conferences as required. So uh, the weekend, Sunday will be the last day we officially do the press conferences in this way, but from Monday at 11am, Health will provide uh, their daily updates with all the figures and myself or Minister Hazard or any other re relevant minister will um, present to the community on a needs basis. But uh, I just want to give this strongest message if I can and that is we can't afford to have people let down their guard. All the work we've done in planning, all the work we've done as to what we'll be able to do at 70% and then obviously once we present the 80% double dose is based on the fact that these restrictions remain in place until otherwise advised. Because if uh, anything happens contrary to the modelling or what we expect, we don't want to have to revisit anything. We want to make sure that all of us enjoy those great things that we're looking forward to when we hit 70% double dose vaccination and we are as the model predicted at a critical stage because we envisage that once we get through the middle of September all those people that have been vaccinated are going to uh, kick in in the numbers and, and, and show that the, the spread's reducing.